Oliver, the shares of Arhold and Delhaeser, two retailers, one in Holland and one in Belgium, are on a bit of a tear today. Do we smell a bit of retail therapy in the air? We certainly do. There were some uh, reports out over the weekend in uh, Belgium that the two are in early stage talks over a, a potential tie-up, a potential merger. Now, neither company has said anything officially, but still the rumours have been enough to, to drive the shares up about 6 7% for okay. Arhold, almost so, 15 for Delhaize. Wowie, well, so why might, that be, why might they want to get together at all? So the big thing here is the US. Although they are both okay. Europe-based companies, they both generate about 60% of their sales in the US. Uh, Arhold has uh, Giant and Stop and Shop. Del Hayes has Food Line is one of its brand. Hannaford is the other. So they've got a lot of operations in the US. So that's, I think, where they would look to be driving any savings. And as ever with deals, you'd look for some cost savings by combining headquarters and buying operations and, and uh, infrastructure and that kind of thing. You might also look for some buying power by combining these two groups. OK, so there could be some of those so-called synergy savings coming out of it. But closer to home, our hold's much bigger than Delhaeza, so it doesn't sound as though it's going to be an easy one. I'm sure they'll dress it up in some palatable way if they do get it together. Indeed, the, the two aren't quite evenly matched. Um, our hold's market cap is about twice that of Delhaeza, so they would be quite delicate in putting the two together. Lots of national sensitivities coming out. They'll probably dress it up as a, a merger of equals, but really it's an acquisition, <coughs> it would be an acquisition of Delhaize by Arhold, and it could be quite onerous for Arhold if they made an all-cash offer, which they financed entirely mm -hmm. by debt, then Arhold's net debt to EBITDA ratio would go from under one at the moment to potentially over three. Now Ouch. that's if it did all of this by, via debt finance, now it might well choose to issue shares if it were to go ahead of the deal, so it wouldn't necessarily be that, but it, it would be taking on quite a big chunk. Got you. So that's some of the, the, if you like, the retail and the investor fundamentals. But when things happen like this in Europe, there are other problems, surely? There are. It's not, a, not an easy time for any of these companies. And I'd say they would have to, as well as sort of speaking to the national sort of customer base, they'd also have to please the competition authorities. So there might be some difficulties there as well. It would not be an easy deal to get through. OK, so some Lowlands retail therapy, but as ever with these things, it always pays to have a jolly good look at the deal on offer. So if one comes, I think you're saying be, beware, have a good look at it, Oliver. Thank you very much indeed.